Hello, welcome, hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will briefly touch upon subsets. So, in the last session, we have gone through types of sets where we have gone through finite and infinite sets. Now, to understand subsets, let us take a very simple example. Let us, stay there, let us say there are two sets which I am representing in roster form. A, set A is having elements 2, 4 and set B is having elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you compare the sets A and B, you can see that each element of A is already present in B. That means, if I take element A, that's nothing but element 2 here, the first element of capital A. I know that 2, e you can see that 2 is already present there. Similarly, if you look for 4, 4 is also present in B. So, if each, if an el each element of a set is present in other set, then that particular set is called subset. That means, if a element, let us say element A of A is also present in B, each element of A like 2 comma 4 is also present in B, then A is called as subset of B and it is represented by A subset of B. If it is not subset, then we will say A is not subset of B. Now, you can observe that a set itself is a subset to its a set is subset to itself that means a is subset of a we can observe that a is subset of a not only that empty set is subset to every set so what we are saying we are saying that a set is called as a set is called as subset to other set if each element of the set is present in the other set also. Like if I have 2 comma 4 here, 2 comma 4 are present in B where which is having some other elements also but it is having 2 and 4 also. So then we say that A is subset of B. Then A is called as subset and B is called as superset. A is called as subset and B is called as superset. Okay, right. Now, we have seen that what are the subsets you can have. Suppose I take A equal to 2 comma 4, what are the subsets I can have? 2 comma 4. Suppose say A, what are the subsets I can have? I can have empty set, nothing in it. Then I can have 2, that is one set, only one element. Then I can have 4, that is another element, then I can have A itself. That is nothing but 2 comma 4. So, you can see how many I can have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, four subsets I can have for set A. This set of all these subsets is called as power set. So, power set of A is nothing but power set of A is nothing but set of all the subsets of A. We know that for any set, two subsets are any time present. One is the empty set and another thing is the set itself. Now, suppose I take 1, 2, 3, then you will see that how many subsets you will have if you calculate, you will get 8. Suppose you have here 4, I can devise a formula by saying 2 square and cardinality of A is 2. So, if I take 3 elements, then the number of element, the number of elements of the power set is nothing but equal to 8. So, we can say that number of elements in power set can be given by 2 to the power of m, where m is m is the cardinality of A. So, if you have two sets, it will be 4. If you have three sets, it will be 8. So, what is power set? Power set is the set of all the subsets of a particular 
set that is called as subset now what is universal set a set is called as universal set if it is a superset to to more than one sets let us say something like context sensitive where you have related to that suppose you are talking about musicians of a particular state let us say then you can say that the universal set can be musicians present in india or us or canada a particular country or you can say also musicians present worldwide or universal similarly if you are looking for students of a particular grade this universal set can be students of the university so that is how you can define the universal set to be more specific simple example if you are working on integers the universal set can be rational numbers or it can be real numbers now let's look at the real numbers and see what are how the subsets are there set of natural numbers you know if i write it in roster form is nothing but starting from 1 2 3 goes set of integers where i have negative i have negative and also i have positive set of rational numbers is where you write in p by q form irrational numbers is you know which are not rational numbers real numbers is combination of them now you can see that n is a subset of z and z is subset of r z is subset of q and q is subset of r